I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting video on sine of zero. We will also see how can we represent zero as positive or negative number. That makes it more interesting. So as usual, let's begin with a number line. So let me draw a long number line this time. Okay, with a big zero in between. So, so we say number line and here is a number which we had been calling as zero, right? So, so that's a big zero, which is right there in the center of our number line. Now, anything to the right of this zero is positive. So right side is here, right? So anything to the right is positive. And anything to the left of this zero is negative, right? So anything to the left is negative. That is how we see numbers, right? So I could write, let us say, number 1. So 1, if it is positive, it has to be on the right side. And 1 on the left side will be treated as negative 1. That is how it is. So any number greater than 0 is positive. So what we say is, number greater than. zero is positive and we also say that number less than zero is negative now how about zero well simple answer is that zero is neither so it's neither positive nor negative clear well you knew that right so what is new about this video well the new about this video is how can we represent zero as positive or a negative number so that is what we are now going to look into now let's look into this definition of positive and negative once again we say any number greater than zero. How much greater than zero? This is what we have to look into, right? How much greater than? It could be 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, or what? Well, we can say anything, right? So if I write zero with a positive sign here, I say anything greater than zero. Now this zero which I've drawn, with well, a positive sign here is actually positive, right? So this zero, anything to the right side of zero is treated as positive. Do you see that? So left side will be treated like what? We could write a zero like this with a negative sign, right? Negative sign. So this zero with a negative sign will be treated as a zero with negative sign. So you see I have introduced sine of zero. So if I write zero plus that number becomes positive and if I write zero minus that number becomes negative. Well remember that we could put this negative either way that or I could write zero negative right so negative here or there doesn't really make a difference we could use either way we could write zero positive like this also so that's a new convention which we are going to follow to understand mathematics slightly better as we move from grade 9 to 10 to 11 to 12 it helps let me give you an example where we'll see how to use this convention. So I'll sketch a graph here. Let us say we have a parabola which is kind of like this, opening upwards like this. And uh, let me make one axis. This is x-axis. Let me draw y-axis also. So I'll draw y-axis going through this point here, making that a zero. 
on our axis. So this is 0 and this side is x-axis, this side is y-axis. Now, you have to say this value of y, when is it positive? So the question is, when is y or when is y, which represents the graph, right? Positive. Now, what is the answer? When is it positive? Let us say this point is at number 2. In that case, you will say left side of 0, right? You could say, you would give many answers. We could say left side, left of 0, and right of the number 2. Do you see that? So left of 0 and right of number 2 the graph is positive, right? You could also say that when x is less than 0 or, we can say or, we should use or here, or when x is greater than 2, the graph is positive, correct? At times, we'll also use this convention that it is from negative infinity to 0 that it is positive and it is from 2 to infinity that it is positive. You see, this means left side of 0, right? Now let me write the next question, when is graph negative? Now I like you to provide an answer which uses this convention, not the regular one. Can you say, when is the graph negative? That is to say, we are interested in this interval, right, from 0 positive to, to negative. Do you see that interval between 0 positive to 2 negative, the graph is negative. And that is the convention which helps us to describe situations at times. So from here, you also learn that even in numbers, we can represent them from left side or right side. 2 negative here means left side of 2. That does not make 2 as negative. 0 positive means right side of 0. Do you understand? So that is a convention which can be applied in different situations. So what I want to conclude in this video here is that 0 is neither positive nor negative, but we could always assign a sign to it, right? So you can always assign a sign to 0. You could make it positive or negative. When I say 0 positive, it means right side of 0. It means right side of 0. And when I say 0 negative, it means left side of 0, right? So think as if we have a 0 here, we are facing right side is positive for us and the left side is negative for us. So we are treating 0 kind of a mark whose left and right sides are now defined with plus and minus signs and these signs help us a lot in understanding characteristics of graphs in many situations which we are going to use soon. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.